Hi, everyone! Welcome to the stream! Woohoo! Sorry, I've been watching the Batman animated adventures and I just watched a Joker episode, so. I just got in the Joker mood, you know? I wrote suicide on my head. That's I don't care. Doing, right? Don't care. Uh, we're gonna play some Valheim. Zach and I are gonna play some Valheim. Hey, before we get into that, do you guys care about the Snyder Cut? No, because I didn't see the original. I'm. I'm. I Wait, do care why, just because. Why can't I hear Zach? <laughs> yeah, I can't hear him either. He's muted. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I... Sorry, the okay, sea no, sailor Zach could... is here. <laughs> if you can mute yourself again, please. Yep. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> um. Uh, so I, I just wanted say, to bring that up. The yeah, Snyder I've never, I've never enjoyed a Zack Snyder movie aside from the trailers. Okay, that's understandable. Zack Snyder is like he's like that weird kid in high school who was really good at drawing but only drew furry porn. Yeah, and it's like oh. it's like you have a lot of great talent, but you need somebody there to guide what you are going to be creating. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah um, it's, it's, it's sad. You're making me look up Zack Snyder films in case there is one I have enjoyed. Oh, crap. I, I know I said that just off the cuff, and I know you're going to be like, what about Shawshank Redemption? Zack yeah. Snyder actually directed that. Not Frank Darabont. Citizen Kane. <laughs> Citizen Kane. Um, honestly, Watchmen? Not oh, bad. Oh, you know what? Not bad. Thank you. I do really like Watchmen. Other than the I ending. I really like, but, but it's it, not bad. It's not yes, bad. it's a good, like... Oh, you know what? Dawn of the Dead's not bad. Owls of Gahul, honestly, not I, bad. I was just about to say that. That movie's genuinely very good. Um, Guys, no. Man of Steel, bad. I bad. will never forgive Man of Steel for using trailer, the, great. Gandalf's death music yeah. in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Sucker Punch, eh. Great trailer. Great What's trailer. Army of the Dead? Oh, it's not out yet. Yeah, that's a new one. What are some other? Justice. I've never seen Aquaman, never seen Justice League. I saw Batman v Superman in theaters. Because a bunch of people at work wanted to go. Oh, Disappointed. Yeah, uh, I've never seen 300. 300 is yeah. good. I will. I do like his. He. I do like his embracing of his style of like yes. you know it's CGI and green screen, but he like plays with that in a way where you're like, oh, I'm okay with. It's like a comic book. Yeah. So my thing with Zack Snyder is amazing action sequences. Uh, in the in between is just terrible. He's yes. a very good visual uh, director. Yeah, yeah. Terrible I think he, actor director. And he, and he can't tell bad lines. Not to say the script is entirely yeah. his fault, but he is more than happy to shoot terrible stories and terrible lines. Yeah, well, that's um, what, like, it's like with Watchmen. It's such a good, such a beautiful, all the montages, all the intros are so yeah. great, but everything around it's kind of like, oh, you're, you're just, just let down by yeah. the story even the head changing the story at times yeah, they are yeah. changing uh anyways that's enough about Zack snyder uh no. because <laughs> i mean we can continue talking about it but we should probably start the stream <laughs> yes. uh yes. we're gonna be playing some valheim zach and i are ian's just here to hang out uh because he has nothing yeah. better to do um pretty much and uh yeah i was gonna make a making love joke but i decided not to uh so i'm just gonna hop in the server here i um I, you know i just went ahead and paid for a d dedicated server um because you know what why not it's oh. located in uh dallas texas so uh that's probably not good but the <laughs> other <laughs> the other options were like North Carolina and I think New York and I wanted at least Zach to be able to oh, have good ping. Uh, now I know why you're saying it's not good. Yes, because I get it now. you don't mess Mexus with Texas. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. Uh, Cancun. I forgot. You don't to... want to support him. Got it. <laughs> and he's he actually owns his server farm too. Yeah, this is his he server probably farm. probably does. Do you know that uh, John McCain's wife also did. owns like the largest beer distributor in the southwest of the United States. Really? Yeah. Same as like John Kerry's wife is heir to the uh, heiress to the Heinz. <laughs> the John Kerry fortune. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple bowls of soup. Die already. Just die. um. Yeah. So this is Valheim. This has kind of been taking over the uh, video game world. By storm, oh, 
it didn't it didn't play the whole intro thing for me. That's kind of annoying. Oh, play for gay. last time. I'm an idiot. You are an idiot. Uh, Sorry, welcome to Tenth right. World Warrior. I am Hugin. Sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to descend to Valhalla. Okay. Guys, guess what I'm doing right now? Editing. Oh, what's that? What's that? That's a grayling. Hit him. I'm coming. I was thinking about editing, but uh, it requires me to like listen to oh, the you audio. Whipped his oh, what did I just know what oh, you're saying? I blew up his body. Um, I'm doing some uh, 3D designing for 3D Ooh. printing. Oh, I meant to talk to you about 3D printing some stuff for me. Okay. But nice let me man. first talk about... So, I, it was my birthday. Um, oh, yeah. Happy birthday. It's a humble brag. I don't care. Uh, I, I love putting stuff on my Amazon wish list. Things that I want to buy, but I can't quite justify pulling the trigger on. Because then people buy it for me for my birthday. So one of the things Maggie got me is this. It's a USB-C cord. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Go like this. Boop. Where'd it go? Ooh. I'll show you. This is my phone. That's your phone. So you put one half in your phone, and then the other half goes. Boop. Oh. And a mechanism attaches. I know it doesn't doesn't seem that fancy, but here's the thing. I use Android Auto a lot in my car, so every time I get in my car, I have to plug my phone in, put it in the holder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 3D design, 3D design and print a little holder that has, basically it's a, like a phone holder slot, so I can drop my phone into it, and when it hits the bottom, it magnetically connects to the USB-C. So I basically have a holder that I can slip my phone in and out of very easily to connect to. Yeah, that way you don't have to two-hand the phone in. Exactly, yeah. I, I've previously done this without the magnetic mount, and it actually worked okay. It's just that the tolerances were so tight, and under the sun of my windshield, it warped. So I'm hoping to do do it this way, because this way the tolerances can be a little bit less, change the design around a little bit, and hopefully get something that will work. So anyway, so I'm designing that, and I figured if I'm going to be here, sitting in front of my computer doing this, might as well hang out with y'all. Yeah. Make sure y'all ain't doing anything inappropriate. Hey, uh, Zach, let's let's build a house out here, you think, right? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Oh, nice. I'm currently trying to gather wood. Making sure I'm not dropping crazy frames or something. Oh, we're good. Ooh, raspberries. Stream looks good. Stream looks good. Audio Sweet. looks good. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Because I, I realized it's a it's a big thing with Comcast is their up is always terrible, and Verizon matches up and down. So when I have three hundred down, That's I'll have nice. three hundred up. Oh, I didn't know Verizon did that. That's nice. So. What'd you say, Karen? Oh, she's happy because then she can play video games while I'm streaming. <laughs> Guess what news came out, William? Uh, you are. Ah, it's not worth the joke. What? Perseverance landed. Comcast Sorry. canceled their data caps for the Northeast till 2022. <gasps> yes. Wow. Long enough for me to get out of there. <laughs> That's perfect. All right. Karen, Comcast canceled data caps till 2022. Shit. Yeah. Sorry, stream. Man, my perfect plan of <laughs> having three months to spare is now ruined. Now I have a whole year. Did okay. they uh, get... announce that just for the Northeast? I, I don't know. I... I didn't dig into it too much, but basically the controversy was the data caps were being introduced for the Northeast. And so I believe they're just postponing that for the Northeast. Gotcha. So basically the new territories that are getting it are now getting it later. As opposed okay. To okay. Cause yeah, we have data yeah. caps here in Utah and it's, I mean, I've a couple times hit it, but what's your, uh, what's your data cap? I think it's, it's one or two terabytes. I think it's one terabyte. Okay. Yeah, they were doing 1.3, and they rolled out warnings. So I started getting warnings. Yeah. I think on average, I do 1.4, 1.5. But granted, I do a lot of streaming, so. Mm -hmm. How do I get wood? Uh, you need an axe. How do I get an axe? You need a pretty, you need a pretty lady. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, how are you already doing better at this game than me? Because I'm a... Oh, look at all these buildings over here. Yeah, hey, there's a Zach, building over quick. here. Um, it's my understanding that... Will asked you if you wanted to play Valheim or Spot 4, and you said Valheim? Uh, I don't think there's any proof uh, of one way or the other. 
I see. Oh. I knew Will lied. I knew that you would never turn down SWAT four. No. I knew it. Sorry, right, just yeah. two seconds here. Yeah, Get never turn button. down SWAT four and not play the game that's taking the internet uh. by storm. I, you know, I was thinking about playing this, but I just. Eh, Can you read that? Okay. Uh, I want a Valheim. See, right above it says wow. Valheim or SWAT. Uh, is that me? I don't think that's me. Oh, did you? Oh, now it is. <laughs> Here, I'll show you his contact information. Yeah, show me the number. <laughs> yeah, that way Ian can call him and call verify. <laughs> yeah, here's his phone Actually, number. Actually, we have callers like standing by. I feel like it's too late because we've over-explained it, but we could have had you, Will, message me, message me his number, and then I'd call him live on stream and be like, I know it was you. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I have to take this. Zach? I have to take this. Okay. Oh man, so much wood. Will, How do I this. get wood and rocks? You need to find them on the ground. I'll oh, bring some to you because okay. you're weak. <laughs> I. Oh. Where are you? Duplicate. I'm by the shore. There's... Yo, come on down by the shore, bro. Um, there's some. There's a broken house over here. I see you. I'm coming Save. towards you. Copy S. I glow. Oh, I'm. It says I am wet. Oh, me too. That. How do I keep I keep catching on fire? I don't know how. How do I? Is there a fire okay, in just, that room? I just dropped a ton of wood. Thank you. How did you? But get I want it? a lot of it back. <laughs> craft us a hammer. Oh, I need four stone. Oh, I see. Oh, stone. you need to find, get those on your. I got one. What am I doing? Ooh, there's bees in there. I'm not going to tear down that build. Uh, Zach, I'll drop that wood for you. You can take it back. Thank you. All right. How do I get... Oh, is that what was back? attacking me? I gotta eat these. Probably. Can I eat these berries? Oh, yeah. Eat them. I'm going to eat that. Okay. Stone axe for tree felling. But I need... Proved my woodworking. Wood okay, I need to go find where that bird went because he's been telling me what to do. Hello. Yeah, he just appears. Guess what? Glasses on. Guess what? Get cut. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the Lonely Islands Adventure Town? Uh, I don't think so. Awesome Town, you mean? Awesome Town. Thank you. Um. The Lonely Island, Andy Samberg, uh, Akiva, and Yorma did a, like a, a fake pilot for a show, and it's fantastic. And I rewatched it, and it still holds up and isn't at all dated. Um, their uh, proposal for the Why Not Me Oscars song is very good. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> with all the different uh, famous Chris's. Yeah. That's a good one. Hey guys, you know what we can talk about? What? I recently watched The Lord of the Rings. <gasps> you watched Ooh. them all? I watched them all. Wow, I, I can get my discs discs. back now. I'm not a weebo. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, I'm having to do measurements. I fixed my caliper. Oh, nice. I'm so proud of myself. Um, basically, the problem I was having was that the screen was really dim and it would go in and out. And it turns out that I took it apart and I looked at it and basically it's super weird. I still don't understand how it works. There's the display and then there's this soft piece sitting on top of the display. And then there's a circuit board on top of the soft piece. And the soft piece connects the display to the circuit board but it's like literally like a piece of foam. I still don't quite understand it, but basically it means that it's pressure connected. So I had to what? like slightly reseat it and like like thread the screws back down. I had to do it twice, but the connection is now pressed in properly. And it's literally just like a little piece of weird foam that, that sits between them that connects them. Long story short, it's working now. Um, yeah, I watched Lord of the Rings. So here's my journey with Lord of the Rings because y'all are playing, so I'll take up some time. I watched them in like 2004, 2005. I didn't like them. Um, I believe I watched the theatrical editions on DVD. Didn't like them. I read the books in 2012, including The Hobbit. Loved them. 
I watched the extended editions in 2012. I still didn't like them. I fell asleep, practically bored. I recently watched the theatrical editions on 4K Blu-ray. Fantastic, fantastic. 4K HDR transfer, by the way, one of the best. Very good. Um, guess what? You don't like them. I think I liked them. <gasps> wow. Isn't that surprising? That I completely, I was like committed, but I, I was watching them, especially Fellowship, man. Fellowship is just super like, it's just so jolly. And even when it gets serious, it's like, yeah, I'm in, man. Let's form this Fellowship, you know? Where are we going? Uh, oh, great. Uh, Lord of the Rings, Twin Towers. Uh, it, it starts to slow down a little bit there and get a little, I don't want to say boring, but it gets a little bit story heavy in a bad way. It gets it gets lore heavy, and then Return of the King. It's still still good, still enjoyable, but it it's like a focus on explaining, like barely explaining on this new lore that's happening, and then at the same time, um, endless action sequences. And, and and between those two, I was like, man, it's still good. It's not bad, but Fellowship of the Ring, real good, yo. Great, um, real good, yo. It's just it's just a part of it. I do still think there's problems with it, and I can't just blame it on the usual, ow, like, they're trying ow. to cover too much ground. Ah! I died. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tree fell on me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on a delay. <laughs> so it's large as roll with you. Um, but, like, like Saruman, like, I, I feel like they don't do a good job of explaining or introducing Saruman, and I don't understand how people follow that movie knowing nothing about it and seeing it for the first time because they're just like there's a wizard his name is Saruman and within like five minutes he's mentioned introduced does his heel turn like Gandalf becomes his prisoner and then he just kind of disappears from the movie for a long time and people like occasionally reference him and then they keep saying Sauron Saruman and it's just like how how do people follow this if they don't know what's going on yeah uh, I, I'll agree to that. It, it is kind of vague. Um, yeah. Um, and then the other thing was the whole Return of the King, the ghost army, like, that just comes out of left field. It feels like a deus ex machina. It, they really should have been teasing that a little bit more mm -hmm. throughout. But, um, yeah, overall pretty good. There's definitely moments where it, it gets, like, super high fantasy that I'm not crazy about, but that's... I wouldn't consider those objective faults. Those are like subjective faults. So yeah, I'm I'm actually proud of myself that uh, a lot of people would consider me a contrarian or just a hater of all things popular, but it's true. I gave it an honest shot, and you know what? Uh, it stuck with me this time. It was good. It's good stuff. Um, good, good 4K HDR though. Man, Rick, where'd you go? Good 4K HDR. I'm I'm coming up to you. I was gonna knock um, this house down so we could then build a house. Zach, I'm glad you're on though, because uh, you used to be a uh, what's a greatest color grader? What's the term for it? Yeah, color corrector, teacher, color grader. Color corrector. Is that racist to say color corrector? <laughs> no, it no, is it now. Is. <laughs> it is now. So I'm also you say colorist, but colorist is also someone who colors hair. So when you're like looking up colorist jobs, you Got get it. a lot of. So you did both. Got it. Oh yeah, I colored hair. It was great. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's just, it's funny because the last time I mentioned HDR to you, you said you hated it. Uh, I, I because... thought it was an unnecessary, uh, progress, progress, progressive thing. Yeah. yeah I, I, I think my it. problem with it, it, yeah, when it's good, it's really good, but it's hard to find genuine HDR. A lot of the times it's just like a bad algorithm on top of normal video. Yeah. Um, it's, it's like an it's, uprising something. It sometimes just it, doesn't. Exactly, yeah. And it's, it's and it's super noticeable. Um, like I was, I've been watching the Grand Tour on Amazon Prime lately, mm -hmm. and so I watched like a season and a half in 1080p. Looked great. Yep. I started watching it on my new TV, which is 4K HDR, and it's really weird because, like, first of all, I can't tell if it's. I think it's 4K but it's also compressed weirdly. So sometimes you'll get a shot where like the entire image is 4K, but somebody's face is horribly compressed <laughs> and it looks oh. weird. Then they're, they're doing something wonky with, it's, it's in HDR, but it doesn't feel like real HDR. And they're doing something wonky with the algorithm where like if you're looking at a piece of asphalt, 
parts of it will be slightly purple. Like they have screwed up the color. Oh yeah. And it's, and it's definitely like, it's definitely like an algorithm because it's across the entire episode. It's not just like certain shots or lighting or anything. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's also about 25% of the shots have, Ooh. it feels so weird. It feels like somebody went into Premiere and said, add a noise effect on top, like a color noise effect 10% on top of the image. And I, that may be camera or it could be algorithm, I'm not sure. But it's just like a weird colored noise, very fine noise effect on top. So it's weird. It's like Amazon Prime, original show, 4K HDR, and I'm watching it and I'm like, can I switch to 1080p somehow? Because this is not, it's very distracting, the corrections they've made to it because it looks bad. It's, it's, it's wonky. It's all over the place. Here. Isaac. He literally just said computer crash. Isaac. Hi. Oh, he can still hear you. Did your entire computer crash? Yeah, my entire computer. Oh, it just restarted. I'm, I'm on my phone talking to you guys. Oh, hi. Okay. Got it. I, that's why I was like, oh, I just talked it up in Discord. And then I was like, oh, enjoy the call. You know what, Zach? You're the <laughs> one camera in my setup that has a missing image for when your computer crashes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Um, hey, how did you progress to get the crafting table? He's gone. Oh, now he's gone, gone. I feel like uh, uh, streaming the beginning of this was bad because I'm supposed to be talking to this bird every so often, and uh, that is not happening. It's annoying. No, no, I just, I'm missing it because I'm not paying attention. Yeah. Sorry, I'm supposed to be uh, drawing things on this. Draw things. I really like the art style in this game, though. <clears throat> it's very good. It's probably just wall thick. Oh, you know what I need to discuss when Zach is back is I I don't think I like Plex anymore. Um, oh yeah. Mostly because oh, I really? downloaded. I don't know what the issue is. I downloaded. Uh, I was sent a free copy on the internet of Pacific Rim 4K HDR, um, and I put oh. it on my Plex server. I don't think it works with Plex 4K HDR. And, uh, it, I don't think... Yeah, regardless of that, I turned it down, like, I turned off the HDR on it, and it just would not stream properly. And I don't know if it's, like, my Ethernet connection is just not letting that... So I'm trying to figure out a solution of just having a hard drive connected to my computer and connected to my TV that I can just play movies. But I wonder if that's just sending, making my computer, my TV, another monitor on my computer. Well, um, let me ask you a question. Um, what what symptoms are you getting? Just like it like sits in buffers forever. Like it's just yeah, not, you know, mine, mine does that as well. And it's weird because it's like, sometimes it's a 4k video. It does it to you. Sometimes it's just a 1080p video. Mm -hmm. And I've even turned down the bit rate down to like 10 megabits per second, like not source bit rate. And it does that. So I, I have definitely hit that issue with Plex where for whatever reason, it's just like, nope, it's not going to play this. And that's why I don't use it very often. I don't use it unless I have to. Yeah. I just, I don't know another way of getting my entire movie collection to play on my TV. Well, there is an easier way. I did this for a long time before I set up Plex. And it's something I still do for certain videos that Plex isn't quite working well with. Uh, I just put it on a USB stick and I plug that into the Xbox. Yeah, I think that's probably what I what I should end up doing. Yeah, because I, I, I can't remember how much I paid, but I want to say a couple years ago, I got like a 256 gigabyte USB stick, I think for like 30 or 40 bucks, like it was super cheap. Mm -hmm. And then it's just like, you know you're going to watch these four things, or you know you're going to watch this these 20 episodes. Just throw them on the USB stick, keep it plugged into the Xbox. The thing Plex does that I still lean on Plex for is if I have a TV show that I'm trying to watch, it tracks it. Yeah. Whereas with the USB stick, it wouldn't. And that, that works pretty well. Like, the TV shows are usually pretty fine. But, yeah, it was really frustrating. Um, because I ended up having to turn it down to, like, uh, like 8... 1080p, 8 megabits in 1080p, yeah. instead of like getting the 4K. Yeah. Um, I moved to Jellyfin, uh, Jelly. which is uh, kind of a offshoot of MB, because um, I was just sick of Plex. I didn't want to have to pay five bucks to 
um, to watch it on my phone or any phone I I wanted. Um, and Jellyfin's nice. It's 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 free, and the app works great on my phone. It's definitely not as um, Robust. streamlined as plex and and robust and transcoding's weird because i i have i have a home server that i built and it's funny when i watch like a 1080p like a even a 10 gigabyte movie i will get notifications from my server it's like cpu maxed out cpu maxed out and it'll play fine but it just is grumpy because it's using a lot of the resources because it i think it does transcode everything so it plays back fine, but it definitely uses a lot of resources. Gotcha. Um, but I also have no, I've got no remote viewing unless I set up my own like duck DNS and all that stuff. So that's definitely mm -hmm. a negative about it, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I'm happy with it for my house. Yeah. I paid, I paid for the Plex thing just to, cause they do do a nice thing where it's like you pay for it once and you get it across all your, yeah, all your uh, devices. Uh, Zach, yeah. how do I get the crafting bench recipe? Uh, you need to make a hammer. Okay. And then with a the hammer, you'll be able to access everything. Uh... Yeah, I, would, I just didn't want to pay for either, either the lifetime subscription because I was like, I don't know how long I'm going to keep using this and what if next year some other thing comes out and I pay Wait, why were you? why were you paying for the subscription? For Plex, so yeah. if you do the lifetime subscription, anybody can. You don't have to pay for, for each app you use on the phones. Oh, but I didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't even do a subscription. I, it was just like a one-time fee to unlock. Yeah, to unlock um, it. I, uh, Android. Oh, I just I wanted Plex Pro for some reason or whatever it's called. The Plex. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, bird. I, talk to I just, just I've turn. moved away from the whole like I want a media library, a digital media library. Yeah, it, I moved away from that for music a couple years ago, even though I was one of the one of the old stalwarts. Apps. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm all Spotify now. I don't. But yeah. sometimes I just want to have access to like so Shelby and I, we had our kid uh, stay over at her parents. Yeah, yeah, we had our kid. Thanks. No, uh, finally, after a year and two months, we had our uh, kids stay over at our in-laws or my in-laws. And we we just watched crappy disaster movies because we started watching like I put on Geostorm, which is so bad. And then uh, it just kind of snowballed from there. And then we, what do we watch? We watch Greenland. We were on a Gerard Butler disaster. Movie. Oh, it's how was Greenland? Movie. I heard it wasn't that bad. It it. it it was surprisingly good. I was oh, very okay. impressed. Um, yeah. May I recommend to you, as someone who loves bad movies, the uh, Tubi app, because, boy, it is very good, and it has about millions and millions of, like, 80s and 90s and 70s oh, bad yeah. movies, uh, and it's yeah. free, and there's just the occasional commercial. It's very good. Ooh. How is the um, How are the ads on it? Uh, they're not too bad. It's like YouTube ads. So sometimes you okay. can skip them. Why did you make that wall in that inside out, Zachary? Oh, wall? did I make it inside? Is that out? a door? What is that? Yeah, it's a door. Oh, it's a door. Oh, I was confused. This is hard. Um, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I, I, um, along with that, I, I haven't used Tubi in particular, but I highly recommend the website and app, Real Good, R E E L G O O D, because it lets you search across all those services. So like, you search for a movie and it tells you where it is. You can also, if you sign in and add your services that you subscribe to or have access to, it'll tell you if it's available on your service. Ooh, and cool. then you can add it to a watch list. So what it will do is, for example, I, I can't think of a movie off the top of my head, but I get emails every other day where it's just like, hey, this movie you want to see is now streaming on HBO Max. And it sends those because the movie's on my watch list and I'm subscribed to that service. Um, oh, it was... Uh, Dick Tracy, the oh. really wonky Warren Beatty movie. Would not recommend it, by the way. But I, I'd always wanted to watch it, and I put it on real good. And then, like three days later, they sent me an email. And they're like, "Hey, it's available on, a on HBO Max now." And so I watched it. So that's that's a fantastic free service because it also has Tubi and Crackle and Pluto TV, all those free services letting you know. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. 
What is, sorry, what is it called? Real Good, R-E-E-L-G-O-O-D. Okay. I know how to spell both those words. Plus <laughs> USBD. Uh, did I? Oh, I built that piece wrong. Hey, Will, I made one of you. What? You made, oh, a, you, hoe. Made a, you made a hoe. That's fair. It's very funny. That is funny. Uh, I can't open this door. Yeah, how do you open doors? Oh, you need to not have your hammer out. Uh oh, <laughs> I was trying to figure it out earlier. Um, it's the nighttime. How fun. Why can't I build this corner? Hell yeah, otherwise I did it. Proud of you. I, um, hey Zach, I'm curious. I want to describe my 3D modeling method, and I want to know if it matches up with what you do. Because I, uh, mine works, but I'm not crazy about it. So basically, what I did was I took my phone, I took the USB cable, and I wrote down all the different dimensions. Yep. And I, and I schematic it out. And then I put, I, I tried to do, I think it's called parametric modeling or whatever it is in CAD yep. where instead of saying like this is 10 millimeters you say this is this variable yeah this is X um, amount. Yep. yeah and then I put I put all these dimensions in there so for example like USB underscore D USB underscore E and then I reference the drawing and so as I'm drawing it I'm like I want this to be USB underscore D divided by two is that kind of what you do yeah I don't okay. do a ton of 3D modeling but when I have yeah, done me it neither. that's yeah. That's what I do. Okay. I'm just I want to make sure I'm not doing something or missing something completely. Uh, I don't know how to put a roof on this. I'm going to. Cool. That's good. What do you use? What cat are you using? Uh, I use Autodesk Inventor because okay. um, Maggie has an EDU address. So wow. I, I get it for free. Wow. She's the worst. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be using Fusion. What's the... Yeah. Fusion 360. They're very similar. And honestly, I don't think I'm using any of the paid features that are additional to mm -hmm. Fusion 360. Figured oh. it out, everybody. Tommy my steady fuck face. Tommy my steady fuck face. Are you swearing on the stream? Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a real casual stream. <laughs> Yeah, I heard folk face, so I wasn't. I was like, yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is this song? What? What's, what do I just have, do I just have to run around and find rocks on the ground? How do I how do I hammer things? I or how assume do I... You, you have to make the other axe to yeah. do that. It's real annoying. How is what does farming... the other axe need? Uh, yeah. You need a flint axe. You need six flint. Excuse me. And four wood. I have three flint. <laughs> I caught the grayling on fire. Nice. I have three flint if you have I have, any I've flint. got a bunch of flint, too. Okay, so yeah, you can make that at the work table. I, I don't know how to... It doesn't let you repair things yet. Which is the thing I need to do. I'm going to so make us some beds. It's actually I'm genuinely enjoying. pretty good. It's it feels it's just a nice mix of Minecraft uh, and and another game that I can't think of. <laughs> oh, I yeah. need six flint. Do you have more flint, Will? Yeah. Drop. All right, here I'll put it in this chest. Okay. Um. Also, game only five hundred megabytes. Wow. Yeah. It's got a very good like pixel PS one art style. Yeah. Sleep the night away and awaken, refresh, blah, 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 little buddy. This Can't is kind of like, uh, it's kind of like, oh, what's the game, Conan? It's Conan, Conan and Exiles. Exiles. And Minecraft, it's just a good survival game, but I'm, I'm happy the, uh, no, this is, is, I can't get rocks from this. Maybe the littler ones? Can't get them. Yeah. Wish we could change the ground around our house because it's just floating. That well, yeah, I, I, I leveled right. it. 
I don't know. Right. Oh, this guy brings tidings. Talk to him. Oh, now I have to create a work workbench. Oops, I made a. I broke the workbench. Need more wood. Daddy needs wood. Oh, I messed up. That's why. Okay. Foggy up. Top of the tree. That looks better. Please don't follow me, tree. Oh, this is gonna come out. Well, I mean, assuming everything fits, this is gonna come out really nicely. Maybe. Zach, you ever, you ever messed with, um, I forget what they're called. They're, they're threaded inserts that you can put on the soldering gun and then like press into 3D printed parts. Oh, uh, like kind of a, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? A branding iron? Well, no, it's more like it's it's basically a, a nut, but where the outer edge is like knurled and then you, you melt it into a hole into a 3D printed part so you get a metal That's really cool. threaded surface. Yeah, I've been seeing 3D vi uh, videos on YouTube, a lot of them. I think I'm going to buy some for this project because I have to fasten stuff together. Yeah. And instead That's of just really doing cool. like the like the thread as you screw in, I, I kind of want to do the insert. Yeah. Look that up right now. I'm trying to find a, g a new project uh, for my new USB soldering iron. Now that it's like easy to use. I mean, you're doing a, a keyboard build a keyboard. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I have built I, a, key, a keyboard before. I have... Uh, yeah. Oh, let me hold it up to the camera. I have this little guy I built. Oh, it's cute. Um, a long time You know what ago. you could do? It's covered in dust. So we've talked about UpDeck. UpDeck does work with a keyboard if you want to do it that way. That's, you know, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. So you, I... So you could just build a custom keyboard that is basically just a grid with easy-to-label keys. And then use that with UpDeck. Yeah. There was a, there's a recent Reddit post I saved because it was a guy who who kind of did that, uh, but for something else. And then there's one I remember from a while ago that a guy who did a lot of uh, Photoshop work he put a keyboard uh -huh. above his head like right here that had all the shortcuts on it. So like you could hit it and it would save the document or something. Like oh. I don't know if it was just Photoshop where he did like editing too. That's kind of cool. That's kinda cool. Pick up the wood. That can't be right. Okay. Yeah. Get away from me, you stupid railing. You don't deserve love. That's rude. You figure out the stone situation yet? No. I bet it's an, another upgrade. That doesn't seem right. Oh, it's I'm on the half, so I gotta do it by four. It's very foggy. <laughs> Build a fire. Mm. Zach, can you level the ground inside the house? It's just a giant no. pit over here. Is that right? Man, sometimes it's hard dealing with these parts that I'm like, I don't know if you're actually a circle or not. It's just kind of a weird oval. And now I need to replicate that in this part. Chopping. Workbench. Oh, you can make like wood stacks and stuff. That's cool. Okay, I got that. How's 
How's the game so far? I'm Good. Enjoying it. That's good. Using a workbench. Not level two yet. So now I can level the grass. Oh yeah, that does kind of look great. Zach, you ever done the technique where you like take a picture of an item and then put that picture in CAD mm -hmm. and then trace over it? Yeah. Oh, quite a bit. Is it, oh, it works well. Uh. So you have to deal with the fact that your photo, your your camera. Uh, what's the it's it's not a like perspective yeah it's perspective you got to deal with kind of uh, making sure so you got to measure it and in all different directions and I've actually brought mm -hmm. it into Photoshop and stretched it so it matched the the dimensions oh yeah and so yeah it, it does work we're I'm currently helping design some speakers for a home theater company and we are kind of taking pictures and putting them in for little parts and stuff so that we can have all the buttons and knobs all ready to go. But yeah, yeah we've, we've run into a lot of times where uh, we'll make something, we'll cut it out and be like, oh, yeah, it doesn't match. Yeah. So. Yeah, I feel like I should have done that for this because this weird USB piece has like four different stepped levels and I just did measurements and I, I think it's going to turn out okay, but it probably would have been easier just to sketch it from the side to get the side profile and then extrude yeah. as needed from there. Oh well. Oh well, you'll learn for next time. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't done a ton of 3D designing and most of my topographic maps are just I get the STL and Oh, that's nice. No, I don't get the STL. I, I get the, sorry, I get the uh, a grayscale TIF file and I use mm -hmm. a program to cut out what I want, crop it, and then I have a program that takes that and makes it into an STL. And then I just... And it's all courtesy of the United States government, so I don't have to pay anything for anybody. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah. Six. Yeah, I, I probably design something maybe once every six months. Mm -hmm. Once I, I get my... One I did... Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, so my 3D printer that I got has been troublesome. And once I get that up and running, I think I'm going to start designing a lot of 3D stuff. But what were you going to say? I was going to say, last thing I did was I had to replace the antenna on the Miata because the base was leaking. Mm -hmm. And they just, it was, a, it was a static antenna, not a powered antenna. And I could only find powered antenna as a replacement, like a direct replacement. So then I just got like a cheap... I think it was like a marine radio antenna for boats. Oh, but yeah. the mounting hole was wrong, so I had to design and print like a spacer the size of like a Reese's peanut butter cup to basically fill the... Because the hole in the fender was like an inch and a quarter, but the, yeah. the antenna was expecting the hole to be a quarter inch, so I had to like put a spacer and all this crap. But it worked out really well. That's, that's good to know, because yeah, it's all these little things that I never think about. Like, oh, I could just design that on the the machine i've got we we got a 600 or about to buy 600 dollar palm sander for work uh it's oh, wow. yeah if you look at any woodworker on youtube they have been sponsored by this merca sander and it's mm -hmm. obnoxious but we got what we get a test one from a paint company and it's amazing and so we're gonna buy one and but they're they have a proprietary vacuum hole that doesn't match any um, known like yep. Every company makes just oh, it's so annoying. So I, I'm going to 3D print one once I get my thing up and running. Again. Yeah, I was about to say that's begging for a 3D printed solution. Yep. Sorry, got to make it better. Then I should probably start selling them to people. It's the J. Okay, or even well, just the STL. Yeah. What do I have to do next? What is the gap here? 
Ooh, making some food. Eh? <clears throat> oh, do I need to make a, a okay. buggy bed? Okay, I'm gonna try to make a flint. Where do you find flint? I'm not exactly sure. The bed needs a nearby fire. That's obnoxious. Oh, really? Then why did it let me place my bed? Well, no, I placed it, but it won't let me sleep in it. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, I, I think we should build a, a better house. I think we yeah, can put it up on, like, wooden poles. Oh. That way it's we don't have to deal with the ground as much. Yeah. All right, how, where do you get flint? I'm trying to figure out. Um, so what I've discovered from Valheim is that uh, stone there, no, you just gotta find it. Did you Google it? Yeah. What? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, I just found a bunch of coins. Graylings. Flint spawns near bodies of water. Killed that grayling. You right, said, go to okay. Water. I'm already down by the water, so I'll, I'll look too. Down by the bay. I want to go. Back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, Ian will say, Don't be gay. <laughs> wow. That's the best rhyme I could come up with, folks. Is that, is that a uh, official subpixel stance? Because <laughs> oh. I'm going to end the stream. Be quite ironic. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it ironic? Isn't it romantic? What are. Th I'm sorry, what were those creatures I was just looking at? Uh, are they called necks? I think so. Yeah, I what just are killed you? a couple. Neck. Aw, Neck I'm sorry. Neck and grandma! Ooh, there's a group of them. I we wish to be your friend. Neckeds. Thank you for thinking. Oh, you're before. attacking me! Thank Death. you for thinking before saying it. <laughs> Excuse me, Grayling. Oh, is it your birthday? Because you're dead. <laughs> it's your death day. <laughs> Ian, you get anything good for your birthday? Or anything else good? Because I genuinely do like that thing you got. What did he get? The oh, USB. USB thing. Yeah, that's stupid. Um, I got Fiasco, the new version of Fiasco, which is all card based. Ooh. Which should be fun. I've heard it makes setup a lot easier. Because basically, you get dealt a hand of cards, and they're like relationships, objects, needs in your hand, and you go around the circle placing from your hand. Oh, that's handy. Yeah. The only thing is, it means you got to buy extra playsets, but at the same time, I'm more than happy to pay for extra playsets. It came with three playsets, and I think you pay like ten or fifteen bucks for three more decks, which are three playsets. So, um, I also got the Claire Safowitz book. Or Claire Saffitz, dessert person. I forgot what her real name is. Saffitz, but yeah. Oh, Claire. It's the best. Um, she's I not got the book. I forget person, what it's. Right? No. No, she left. So she's not a horrible person. Yeah. Uh, I'm just kidding. That whole situation is <laughs> real weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I also got this book. Uh, I forget what it's called. I can't see the title from here. It's uh, recently released. It's all about. Um, I believe it's about this murder in Ireland in the 70s. And then as the investigation goes on, it's basically, you realize that it's an IRA involved murder, and then it just kind of dives into IRA culture. And if I remember correctly, basically it was this like 45 year old mother who was beaten to death by like these two women in their 20s. And it was IRA involved, like the woman badmouthed the IRA. And so these two, 
20 year old women beat her to death. And it was talking about how like, you know, these are not crazy women, these are not drug addicts or regular criminals, et cetera, but because it's political violence, it drives them to do insane things. So oh. and yeah, I heard a, the author on a podcast. <clears throat> heavy. It's a kind of a, a nod to the current cult going on right now. I don't think where so. People, At least... people do things that are politically motivated. I don't think so. No. Or at least judging by the author's interview. Um, I got the USB cables. Ooh, I also got this. It's fix the it? hefty. I fix it? Ooh. Yeah, it's not the huge one, but it's the... Nice. So it has all these crazy... I used it on the caliber because it had, like, two weird, tiny, different Phillips screws on it. And uh, so it had all these... It's got all the different bits. I don't know it's if great. mine is... I forget what brand mine is, but my mom got me a couple years ago the trifold one that has all the different ones yeah. in it. it that, that may be I fix it. That's like a yeah. giant kit. I need to. This is just a slightly smaller one. I need to buy a second one because I, I have it, it's at the studio right now, and I always need it there, and then I always need it at home. I think I just I think it's like it's one. like seventy or eighty bucks or something for the giant one. It's crazy. Oh, I'm. You don't know how excited I am to have a dedicated desk for like model making and soldering and hobby stuff Ooh, that I can finally will that like be set a up. New place? Yeah, so I can finally set up like drawers and like places for things because right now it's always like if I'm doing a project, everything's out, and then once I'm done with the project, I pack everything up and have to put it away. So it's like now I can have stuff out and work on things. Nice, it's awesome. It'll be very you know, valuable. What am I cooking? Oh, I'm cooking that. I've got my whole office downstairs, and I, I was been, I've been designing a desk to cut out on the CNC Ooh. to uh, just open up my space. Because currently, this is a bunch of two by sixes and two by fours screwed together, and it's warbly. And I made it when I needed a desk fast, and so now I've got time. I get out plywood. I, I saw a design just the other day for one that looked really good. Shoot it to me, because I my design is is cool, but I would love to make a yeah. I just remember that the legs were on the side, and they were I think the whole thing was made out of three quarter inch plywood, and it was they were V's, they were upside down V's on the side. Oh, cool! And it actually made it really stable, because then it's not for just There's enemies columns. nearby. It's... I killed them. Yeah, I'll see if I can find it. I was trying to sleep. I finally built a fire, and I was about to sleep. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. I can get I need, in bed. I need rest. Oh, am I? Okay. Oh. No, you can sleep oh, there. I haven't had a proper look at you. Are you a sexy lady? Uh, my name is Bubbles, and I'm a blonde lady. Did you have a dream of a great tree reaching out through the night? And one no, I have its a branches crackle? The, standing at the prow of a leaping ship. Oh. It's not morning. Why does it say it's morning? I'm on fire. I'm on fire. <laughs> Sex on fire. It's day three. Uh... <laughs> if it is going well. <laughs> there goes our one of our shorts for this week. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, what do I need next? I'm like, I, the this progression's weird because I'm like waiting for a bird. Is he going to come talk to me? Uh, what have you done? Oh, that item cooked. Now we have coal. Ooh. I've learned a new recipe. Chop. I don't know if the chop. Oh, it's a workbench level two. Oh, I need. I need ten flint. How much flint do you have? Uh, I've got five. Oh, I have five. You wanna? Give me your five. Oh boy. Here oh. we go. Oh, I just got a workbench level two. Did I pick it up yet? Did so, I take it? Does this mean I can gotta... upgrade? Don't go into the fire. No. How do I upgrade? Is 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 the screen everything shaking for everybody? No, it's just no. you. Oh, I went into the fire. Oh, I'm on fire. I told you not to. Ow. Ow.
There's a chopping block now. Oh, I need to. I want to make a crude bow. Oh, so we don't have to upgrade the workbench to two. We just are now two. Yes. Oh, and I can repair items now. Yeah. But not in order. Oh no, trees coming down. I've learned that they're dangerous. Oh, there was something else that I designed recently that, that came in handy. Um, for my model making, I had, I have like a whole bunch of exacto knives and markers and pens and paint brushes, basically all these vertical things. And I just had them in like cups. So the problem was like, you had to like dig through the cup a little bit to figure out which piece you want to pull out which vertical tool mm -hmm. so i just made real quick like a grid of different sizes and it had these little tabs on it it's like so it's like a centimeter tall it's maybe like six inches wide and like three inches deep and i just made four of them printed them out real quick and then i just made a little foam core box around it so it's oh, like a nice cool. little like grid it, yeah it's, it's exactly like you're talking about one of those things where you're just like oh i can fix this and then you yeah. just Spend 30 minutes designing it, you let it print, you come back 10 hours later and it's done. You're like, oh, I solved it. Perfect. Yeah. Sweet. It's great. And it's like custom designed for your solution. It's awesome. Yeah, it matches everything. It matches what you need and not just what a bunch of people could need. Things Station. What's this? a stump. Oh yeah, you can chop the stumps. Chopping, chopping trees. Don't fall on me, tree. Let's see, what can I build? Maybe I'll build a house. running away from me you came at me oh you dead girl oh don't go in there this game's starting to chug a little bit yeah my my uh, game already crashed, so that's how you know it's a uh, real game. Intensive. What's that? I think I might build an actual house now, too. Yeah, I might, too. I don't think I don't see you, Grayling. I watched Rambo 2 today. I'm sorry, Rambo First Blood Part 2. You guys seen that movie? I've never no, seen a Rambo it. movie. It just wasn't that great, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I would have guessed. First one's actually really good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Murder. Sorry. Love yeah, the second one was just... First one's good because it is technically an action movie, but it's also like a really good story and it has some drama in it. And you're like, OK, and the second one's like, we just have to make it Rambo enough. 
but at this time it's actually a full-blown action movie. <laughs> you're like, okay. Okay, I guess I'll watch it. Tried to ramble yeah. too hard. Not about that Rambo life. Excuse me. Okay, how do I do this? That's what I need to do. Wooden pole. Wooden fence. I just got hit by a tree. Yeah, it's not a good feeling. It just comes out of nowhere. Oh, why? It says left shift for toggle snapping. It doesn't seem to really do anything. Well, I assume you just hit it. And it will... You can rotate it with your mouse wheel? No, because you can already... I think if you... I think if you hold it, you're turning off snapping. I don't know how far out you can build things before they fall. Oh yeah, it, yeah. Left. If you hold it, it uh, stop toggling. Like connecting to another piece. Gotcha. Not like rotating it. That makes more. This music is very good. I'll say that. I much. agree. It's like jazzy fantasy music if that makes any sense Jazzy. hey uh i'm excited that uh the game that turned into star fox adventures uh the rom for that was leaked today n64 rom for it i want to try oh. it out apparently it's not like not fully there it's kind of like the i think the it's like the glover one that the whole game isn't there, but pretty close. What I've heard. Going into the ground. Man, that is too deep. That's what she said. Is it? What's mouse three? Uh, middle mouse button. Ah, look at you. Oh, I didn't want to. What I can. Uh, I really want the scroll wheel to move through the numbers, but it doesn't. Yes, I keep trying that. I if I can. Do you think grass will eventually grow on the dirt? Be right back. I would hope so. I need wood. Time for some rocking stone. I've noticed down by the shore you get a lot more stone. Yes. Out to the shore, have a few laughs.
I really like your uh, idea of putting it up on spikes. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. Yeah, it's just that, that leveling didn't seem to be working very well. Yeah. Although now I can't. It seemed to line up. Daddy's back. Hey. Oh, I think it's trying to tell me that it's not reaching. I need to go grab stone. Gasolina! I mean, my gasolina! It's nice. If you build a workbench right near where you're building, you can easily remove things. Yeah. It was straight up not letting me build stuff without a workbench near it. Oh, nice. So. Damn, we've only been streaming an hour. No, it feels like it's been a bit. There's a bunch of fun things. Put my house out here. Heh. <laughs> Shut up. What are the what are the dandelions? Don't feel rested in anyway. Ooh, there's some big fish out here. Where if we get a fishing rod? I don't know what doofus decided the door went right there. Yeah. Who could have possibly done that? I'm wet for two minutes. <laughs> Is that all? It just says wet. Two minutes. Hurry. <laughs> Ian. Get over here. Flint. Flint. I wonder if you just end up aging out of, not aging out, but growing out of needing stone. But not being able to harvest these big boy rocks seems like an oversight. this and I can build a pole or I can't Discovered things about this game. Such as? Such as I, you have to put wooden beams from the poles to connect, like, to, like, further build more. What do you mean? Hey, you can come over here. Oh, I see. Oh, 
no. The rest of them. Yeah, this is very reminiscent of Conan Exiles, minus all the sex slaves. Yeah. Well, you should be playing Conan, then. <laughs> Man, we had so many slaves in that game. <laughs> Zach was the slave pit master. Yeah, we had... We would just go out and get someone. We, we would go... <laughs> we would literally go raid the village, and just... You, like, lassoed the people, and you would drag them back. <laughs> and you could, like... You could, like, um, assess them to make sure they had the right stats you wanted. And if they didn't, you would just, like, put them on something stupid. Yeah. And I literally had a throne room with two dancing naked or topless women next to it. And yep. I would just sit in my throne. <laughs> oh, that game was very good. Very, very bonkers. good. Uh, we could never stream it. War crimes were committed. Let it be. Oh, now. hundreds. putting so if a thing so like i'm holding this up to put the next one on but it's red so that means it's not going to be able to support it exactly yep there's gotcha. a certain amount you can i'm getting it. oh seven days to die this is what this game reminds me of just when uh, it was fun yes it's funny you say that because <laughs> in one of the discords i'm in someone was like oh how would you describe it and they're like, oh, probably seven days to die. I'm like, oh, so it's got zombies in it. And they're like, no. It's like, that's like the one thing from seven days to die. And I was like, they're like, oh, what other games? And they go, Ark. And I go, does it have dinosaurs in it? And they're like, no. I go, what are you doing? Why are you comparing it to these games? <laughs> Ark. Man, talk about a bad game. Right? I'm severely disappointed with that game. And it was I so well optimized, right too. Or so poorly optimized, is what I yeah. mean to say. I thought you were being sarcastic. It was like, it was so bad. I could not believe it. Um, what a weirdly weird. And they're making another one. They make so much. Didn't we look up how much money they make? Yeah, it's a couple hundred million a year, I believe. Yeah, that's why they got Vin Diesel. What did oh. Vin Diesel do? Is it so... D oh, we should go to bed. Vin Diesel was in the... It wasn't E3, it was presentation. I, I think he's like a creative director or something of it as well. Oh, Zach, this will look Crazy. really cool. Uh, you want to come sleep? Okay, if you insist. In separate beds. Do you want to take pictures of me? <laughs> Oh my god. We are just in our tunics. And who's Nick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm at a prow of a leaping ship. I'm dreaming of a great tree. <gasps> we just had opposite dreams again. That's crazy. Hey guys, welcome to the crazy cast. If we were Australian and crazy, we could be the Crossies. All right. That's it. <laughs> He's out. I'm leaving. <laughs> I am leaving. 
Man, Batman animated series. Real good. On HBO. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just running through it. I, you know what I got the other day? I got the Dune miniseries from early 2000s Sci-Fi Channel, which oh, won oh. either an Emmy or a Golden Globe. It's supposed to be fantastic. I think it's like three hours, three parts, and then they did a sequel for Children of Dune, which is another three parts. Um, so I'm excited to watch that. Who's cat was that? Made. That was my cat. <laughs> that was my cat. It's one of you two. It was yeah, I, I knew they made that show because I was looking up Dune games, uh, and one of the art, one of the like ten RTSs that have come out about Dune, based on Dune, uh, is Dune two thousand. What am I doing building? Whoa, what is this tree growing over us? Have you seen this? Yeah, it's been there the whole time. Has it? Yeah. I don't think so. It literally has. I noticed it, like, on day two or something. You made me break my house! Okay, okay so how does... Well, these stairs officially are terrible. They don't stare. Excuse me? Look at the stream. No, I don't have the stream up because my computer can't handle it. You can't handle the stream. I don't know that those are stairs. It looks like a ladder. No, that's the ladder, but these are stairs, and they refuse to let me up. I wonder if I have to remove these things. Here. Oh, I see what you mean, because you got a weird lip. I wonder if I... No, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> I remove these, then I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good joke, Zach. Thanks. Uh, oh, I should hear a cat. Yes. Yeah. Screeching. It's because you don't feed the cat. Yeah, exactly. Wait, they need to be fed? Excuse me. You're not excused. Oopsies. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of rap songs about cats being fed. Thing. And wet. Oh, yeah. Cats love being wet and they love being found. <laughs> oh, boy. Got it. I get it now. Hi. Sorry, oh. my child come to say hello. Your child can <laughs> walk. Did you have a fun bike ride? He oh, rides you a want bike. Oh yeah. Why is he using his will? Yeah, we're still streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you later, Shelby. No, it's not about you. Women. <laughs> it is about her. <laughs> oh no, trees are falling on me. This is not raindrops. Yeah, they keep falling on my head. I don't know why the snack I got was these veggie sticks, which are just pretty much the loudest thing you could ever eat. <laughs> Pop rocks. I don't know if they're the loudest. I'm pretty sure eating cat's pretty loud. Yeah. Uh, speaking of eating cat, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get what he's talking about. I know. What does he mean? Oh, I was about to say something even worse than what you were trying to avoid. Wow. Glad I didn't. Glad you didn't. This is tough. You know, sometimes in CAD it's so hard because you got to, like, find reference lines to accurately get to a spot. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. How do I get here without looking bad? The best is building something just in open space and then trying to make guidelines and realizing that it's like, oh, this box is at 7.312514949. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not fun. 
Right now I'm looking at this really like weirdly shaped open space that I need to put a hole in the center of. <laughs> I'm like, all right, what's, how do, I, how do I find the center of this thing? Oh boy, let's see. I'm back, everybody. I don't understand. Still no chat messages, so that's great. Did I die? I think you did. Oh. You just popped up. That's quite annoying. Man, this is a nice building. It's not the center. This will be my chamber of secrets. <gasps> Hurry! Did you write your name in the fire? In the Goblet of Fire? Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Mr. Popper, why is it always you three? You alright, Well, That's my Professor McGonagall. McGonagall who? I'm Snape. Uh, go repair my silly... Oh, those veggie sticks are really good. Zach, you've turned into a robot. Oh, I did. <laughs> your voice. Did. Am I still a robot? Yeah, your voice is a little crummy, but yeah, it's not. Get out of here, Grayling. Nobody likes you. Oh, do these trees grow back? <laughs> oh, do the little trees grow into big trees? I think they do. <laughs> I'll be a son of a beach. What I'll be a son of a birch. Dang it, I keep missing out on oh, map scale. I had some guy want me to make him a map, a huge map, 20 by 40 inches from New Mexico a big square from New Mexico up to Vancouver Island in Canada. And uh, it was going to be like a $4,000 map. And then he's like, oh, it turns out I don't have room on my wall. And I was like, oh, find idiot. room. Find room, buddy. I'll go find you some room on a wall. How? So for $4,000, I'll build you a wall. <laughs> It'll be an army. Do the $4,000. Crafting oh, station needs see. a roof. Back to the other group. Zach, like, remember to run and jump everywhere. Yeah. It's my... Will's daily uh, advice. Oops. Oh, my camera. It's become a nightmare. This music is just so peaceful. Also, the thing with repairing is they do not... can't pick what to repair. I guess it's just whatever's in your inventory. But kind of annoying. Early access, folks. Okay, I think I'm getting close to being able to test print this part. Ooh. Me. Around oh, some voice edges. Can you build, like, scaffolding in this? I don't think so. I'm trying to see if you could build... Uh... Double doors. 
No, there's a gate, oh! but that's... The range on the uh, snapping is a little annoying as well. Stay locked for a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Just a wow, little that bit. tree's right there. A big tree. Oh. Oh the, oh, the one above us? Yeah. Oh, what? Yes, Zach. It's been there the whole time. You're the worst. <laughs> I, feel, uh, I feel like the voice crack really convinced you I was being serious. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> oh? Oh! Give me that wood. As they say in downtown Burbank, California. The pits. Baller! These deer will not shut up. Ooh. Just going. <laughs> really annoying. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. No, that's illegal. I'm an idiot. I like that there's some need for structural support, but it's not like it's it's very forgiving. Yeah. And that system of it like clearly telling you yeah, like that's how I break. really like that. Ooh, I also like the fact that you can, uh, if you have like a bunch of logs next to it, each other, you just do one swing and it hits them all. Yes. Ooh. I like it. There's a lot of features I like in this game. Zach, I can build a beehive. Oh yeah. I just took out the walls underneath that beehive and the whole thing collapsed. Also, the added benefit of it takes like five seconds for the thing to collapse, so you can not be underneath it. Yeah. Cool. Okay. You know what's great about quarantine slash uh, working from home is that I, I don't like to run my 3D printer when I'm not home in case it bursts into flames. And uh, it turns out when I'm home 24 hours a day, most of the week, I can 3D print as much as I want. <laughs> and we do like 30 hour prints and I'm like, yeah, I'm probably not going to leave the house in the next 30 hours. <laughs> it's great. It's awesome. Uh -oh. I'm gonna put this beehive. What's sticking on a pole? Hello, sticking on a pole. <laughs> Girl, go on, stick it on a pole. <laughs> Somehow you whispering it is twice as creepy. <laughs> Check bees. The bees are happy, everybody. The bees are happy. Are they pleased? Nope, just happy. Oh, hi, buddy. You just waiting for me to come out to, to beat me? I gotcha. No. Oh, you can beat me. I'm a computer. I'm a computer. Daddy pooping. Yeah, my, uh, my 3D printer has been... It keeps failing on the bed leveling. I think it's I think I just need to like tear it apart and rebuild it because I got it used from a guy. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. Is it is it failing on the bed auto level or is it like you can tell it's failing when you print stuff? No, it, yeah, it's failing on the auto level. Yeah, maybe so, I mean, you could just skip the auto level manually level it and see if it's stable because because yeah. I had a problem with mine where I had to level it after every print. And it's because the springs that the bed were on were kind of weak. So once I upgraded them, it was more stable. 
Or okay. So, that, so that's just kind of why I recommend, like, right now you don't know if it's an auto level problem or an actual level problem. So that yeah. would narrow it down. I think so. It, it fails during the probing, and it says it fails during the probing. So it's not. I, it, I think the ground might not be grounded properly, or it's the ground. Oh, might be yeah. Used, so. Yeah. I can't eat more raspberries. Let's eat some. Yeah, I need to go back to my research for 3D printer stuff. Um, I mean, I think it's basically just get the. Uh... You know, what? I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look up the model number right now. It's it's the uh... basically the version that I have, but with a whole bunch of improvements straight out of the box. Yeah, because I, I I told you the the one I was gifted is just the like I think it's the controller board for it is just not alive. Yeah, that was okay. kind of sucks. I think I can use parts from it, but I think okay. Yeah, I found it. It's called the CR six. SE. It's $265. And it's basically mine, but with all the all the stuff that I've had to print or buy separately, and even some additional stuff. Although, I don't know, it's $400 off of Creality 3D website. So you may find it on sale for some places for like $350. But it's, it's yeah, because mine is like mine is really good Mine's good out of the box, really good with the improvements, and this is basically all the improvements built in. And it's half the price of, like, a Prusa, which is basically the same thing. Okay. Yeah, because I'm was i trying to find figurines that match the scale of the model ship I'm going to be building, and they don't really have them. Oh, well, if you're doing figurines, I mean, you can kind of do them on an FDM, but... Yeah, that's and resin's messy. Resin's messy and smelly. That's the problem. Yeah, that's I don't I don't have room for resin. Or the, well, you do with the, the space. That's your studio. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I could get a resin one there. It's just more finicky because you got to do like UV curing and all that stuff. Yeah. But but it's great for details that you want to have a figure. Although I will say I printed a mini, like a D and D size mini, on the Ender three. I think the layer height was like 0.04 millimeter. Like it was a very small layer height and it took like two or three hours to print it. But when it's done, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was not as good as a resin, but it was pretty good. Yeah, I, I can live with pretty good. Oh, well then yeah, you'll be fine with an ender. Oh, my face looks so nice. Wait, you're making windows? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. breaking it. <laughs> oh, you guys do have a nice face. That's Zax over there. Hey! You're legitimately hurting it. Yeah, you're legitimately hurting me. <laughs> by building a better house. I'm putting windows in mine. You're going to be so jealous. front of this oh that's right I want to champ for these because they can be a bit of a dick bag honestly I want to draft them oh I can do a draft what hey. oh I'm out of wood <laughs> are there there babies in this game? Yeah, yeah there's, there's a lot of babies, you know, in, this babies game. in the room. <laughs> That's my new hit album, doing? Babies in the Room. <laughs> oh my goodness. You, oh, yeah, there's a car. There's a cat running around. <laughs> I see a dog. You okay? Uh, you know that uh, YouTube video of the 
like the foreign correspondent talking and then like the little girl runs in the oh, room yeah. and it's like marching around shelby just crawled into the room to grab the baby like <laughs> that she was just like sneaking i feel like the best part of that video is the like wife bursts in and like quickly oh, grabs the child oh, yeah. and runs oh I feel like that's the one benefit of quarantine stuff. It's made people be a lot better on video calls. Yeah. Yeah. It, it normalizes it. Or working from home. That too. I've got tons of... I got a buddy that works for a large streaming company and a buddy that works for a large cryptocurrency company in San Francisco and uh, kind of Silicon Valley. And they both work from home and they're making it. They can work from home whenever. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, we realize that you don't need to come into the office. We own you at home. Also, no more snow days, though. Mm, that's true. Oh, you know, speaking of people being tolerant about Zooms, um, <laughs> we did have an instance where Maggie, it was like 8 o'clock in the morning, Maggie woke up and she was like, what time is that? I'm like, it's 8 o'clock. And she was like, oh, no, I have a meeting. And she like runs out and she gets... The computer set up my computer and then she's like it's not working she's like yeah can you come get it and i'm like okay and then i get up out of bed and i don't have a shirt on and i'm just like wait we don't have any clean shirts in here and i was like okay they're all in the living room so i had to just walk past the computer grab a shirt put it on and then help her set up the, the zoom <laughs> turns out her camera was on the whole time and one of her co-workers like complained about me walking past the camera quickly without a shirt on it was just like, <laughs> take, 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 eight o'clock in the morning the other thing is her meetings her meetings are not on her work days and she Sometimes doesn't get paid I... for them oh, so it's like she yeah, she does her nursing shift and then they're like oh by the way you're gonna have a meeting at 9 a.m tomorrow that you need to call oh, that's into. stupid it's just like, come on, people. My comfort is poor. There we go. All right, I need leather. Daddy needs leather. Oh my God. Are you breaking things in here, Will? No, I was repairing my... Uh... This uh -oh. is incredible. Did you like my house? Yeah, windows suck, though. <laughs> I'm gonna burn your house I, down. You know, I went windowless. I don't. I don't need windows. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go windowless. Do that. Are you approaching my forest? I'll kill you. No. I'm just tearing down these old buildings. Oh, a bird just landed here. I'm gonna get you, bird. Now. You kill birds. Yeah, you're here. Bow running away. Away. Yeah, it hasn't told me I can make a bow yet. You can. I think it just auto. I th oh, I think you need to kill an animal and get leather, and it will unlock it for you. Die tree. No, no. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Log landed on me. I think we should stay streaming until Ian finishes his print. <laughs> I'm close to, I'm close to done. I just discovered the draft feature, you know, for like mold making where you don't want like a vertical wall, you want a slight degree. Because I have these I have two parts that are meshing together and I have these pegs that lets you reference them so that it mm -hmm. matches together perfectly. But in the past, what I've had is that the pegs are, they're either too tight or they're not tight enough and then it's hard to get them. So anyways, I'm drafting them, putting a draft on them so they go in the hole a little bit easier instead of being a super tight tolerance. But there's a draft feature that you can just quickly throw a draft cool. on something. You say draft so fast, it sounds draft. like giraffe. <laughs> And when you said there's a giraffe feature, I was really excited. No way! You could just there's a giraffe feature. Mere deers. I just have a trouble. See, I don't. 
The deers just run away. Yeah, uh, there's wart. There's hogs. Excuse me. I love a good hog. And you get leather and meat from that. Wow, this map is humongous. Love the deer. It's so gross. It's a oh, gross God. noise. <laughs> That's like a hundred percent accurate. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, there's fish. Oh, I can't wait to go fishing. No, I was very excited. For oh, hey, bud. Are you here? Yeah, I'm, I there was on stream. Oh no, I have a neck. I have a neck chasing me. I like two hit. Yeah, but it's still scary. See you, dear. How many leather scraps do I need? What was I making? Oh, I need to make a bow. No idea. Yeah, kill the deer. Raw meat. There we go. Leather helmet, leather pants, deer rug. Deer rug. Good to meet you. How are you today? I've missed you. Oh, here's a rune. Don't die. Give thanks to Frey for the rain and sun, for the shoots that break the other skin, and the fruits at the vine. Give thanks to Odin for the flesh and bone, the smoke from the cooking fire, the warm pelt, and the strength of your arm. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's right. I'm a wet boy. Okay, very close to down here. I'm hungry. placement why can't i put a fire inside yeah i had that i dealt with that too so i built it underneath my house Mark. i try Cooking up some meat, and I see a girl. Oh, please you see a that girl? Time. Life's changing all the time. Don't you give it a twirl? We are always running for the thrill of it, thrill of it. Wow, this map is oh, huge. I let myself on fire. Oh, I'm gonna make myself visible to other players. Oh, how do you do that? 
And your map. Oh, yeah. I did that too. Are you guys enjoying the game? I am. I am, yeah. It's pretty fun. It's nice and uh, relaxing. Yeah. I mean, no offense to the game, but I'm, I'm glad I didn't buy it. It doesn't quite... I'm, I'm going to wait a bit on it, you know? Uh, yeah. I can... Yeah, I, I can see you liking this game, but I don't know if it's... I don't think you would like it right now. Yeah. That's fair. Doesn't have all the oomph in yet. Found the mother load of stone. Yeah, I found a bunch on like a side bank. It's very exciting. Nice. Oh, I found like a sacrifice. Oh, hi, bird. You gonna come tell me what this is all about? I bring tidings. You have found the summoning place for one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at the altar and they will come. Be wary of the Forsaken are an easy prey. So craft a wicked woman, don your finest dama, and eat a hearty meal. Sounds like fun. Oh, it basically wants a deer. Thanks for letting me know. I could eat that. Still can't use my workbench? Jeepers. <laughs> this is a poop palace for sure. Uh, PP? Here. Cool. Get in there, boys. Nailed it. My house looks great. Okay, I'm gonna use my workbench too. Yeah, I still can't make a bow. What? Oh, really? Are you Why level I... two yet? My workbench is level two. How do you know if your workbench is level two? How do you know if you're uh, what <laughs> level you are? Um, oh yeah, mine says one still. Skills, I guess. No, that doesn't... Oh yeah, that does tell you. Um. Do you need to build it? Oh, I see. Adding the uh, wood uh, wood chopping block makes it level two. Gotcha. But yeah, I still can't make. Uh, I don't know if I like this window, I mean.
No, I don't want boar trophies. I want leather. I have six leather. Maybe that's enough to make a bow. Oh, if you lose, leave the thing on too long, it just turns to coal. Maybe. Well, they're certainly not giving me meat. Oh, yeah, you gotta get it before it cooks too much. Uh -uh. You like this window? I can't tell if I like it. Oh, yeah, I can't build a bow on yours. Yes, I love that window. It looks great, Will. Thanks. Karen, you like my house? No. Ugh, it kind of looks gross over here. Why do I what? Uh, it's so it's unfiltered cider, so it it has all the bits in it, so you store it upside down, so it like mixes when you turn it back up. I need eight leather scraps. Thank you for reminding me I had it there, because I cannot see it. How's the? What are you eating? Cheddar? Thing? Can I have one? Thank you. Oh. Need two more leather scraps. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Yeah, I don't like this roof situation, but I'll fix it some other time. I think it kind of looks stupid. Stupid deer. That's not what I want. Yeah, take that. Jerk. Okay, and then I need. Oh no, wait. I got two of them. Dingo Hopper. Gosh darn Tibbly Winker. Why am I hurting? Poison. What'd you do? I don't know. Every time I approach this chest, it, it must have like poison around it or something. Really annoying. Project Geometry. I need some hogs. Check on the bees. <gasps> bees gave me honey, guys. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna do the smart thing. And birch. Alheim progression. whole thing. Oh no. What'd you do? I just, I have to like mirror this and I think I set it up so it's not Oh, I just entered the Black Forest. Uh-oh. Careful. And the bird landed and said, let's see what he's saying. You have wandered into Black Forest. This place can be very dangerous for those unprepared to or, to, for it. Prove your worth by slaying Ikathither. Okay, so I should probably <laughs> leave. Yeah, I know. I'm leaving. Don't worry. Yeah, 
Uh, I messed up the mirroring slightly. Oh. Oh. Well. I hear angry things. I should probably get out of here. Oh, what are you? You're terrifying. Yeah, I don't know how to oh, get... You're... I don't know why I can't do the crude bow. It's a crude bow, right, Zach? It's, yeah. It's so can you do it over at my... Uh, that's what I'm walking over to check. Where's yours? In your house or in the other No, I mean house? I mean the one at the at the original house. No, I can't. Weird. What did how did I unlock it? But can is it it appears here for you? Yeah, at the at the original house. But it, why wouldn't it appear at mine then? I thought it's because there's no uh, chopping block. No, mine has a chopping block. Yours has two chopping blocks. I don't know. Bird. Okay, I think I'm done. You sure? Yeah, I mean, I'm at least at the point where I'm going to test print, and I'm probably going to have tolerances that are off, so I'll have to adjust it. You just but... type ping? I didn't mean to. Yeah, what's the... Do you want me to show this on stream? Oh, yeah. Show this on stream. That's the best way to do this. Probably I'll Discord my screen, and you just show that. Or just... Sh can you share your screen through OBS Ninja? I could, but I think Discord's going to be easier because then you can just window capture Discord instead of That's having true. to pull up another link. Yeah, do that then. Okay. Pull this up on my phone so I can watch. Mm -hmm. Oh man, some guy's selling his HO train layout. <gasps> what? 400 bucks. That's It's only an hour and a half away from me. Okay. Should be up. Oh, you know what? I've got a bunch of dirty geometry that I don't want to show. <laughs> okay, here we go, folks. Here comes Ian's screen. There it is. Okay, so basically, uh, sorry, I have a bunch of geometry showing, but basically down here, let me do this. So it's kind of a clamshell design. There's two pieces. The USB cable comes in here. This is the full design of the USB cable. This, this is what I was talking about earlier, how you see all these, there's like a circle here. There's a circle here. There's the cable. There's a platform here, then there's another platform here, then there's the gap to the phone. <laughs> so so it's a lot of drawing and extruding and figuring it out, but I think it's yeah. pretty good. And then I have these That's reference cool. pegs. So the idea is when I print this out, the two clamshells will, they won't lock in place, but they'll reference to each other. So they won't be sliding. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have M3 through holes for M3 screws that I already have. And then on the backside are captive for nuts, which work pretty well. I've tried them before. So I'll basically have a captive nut on the back side. And then the phone slides in here. And then the front design is very similar. I just need to, when I print it, I'm going to mirror the whole thing horizontally um, so that they mate together. And then it just has a cutout. So basically, from the front, it'll look like this. That's so neat. you slide your phone in. The magnet will catch. Cable comes out here. So hopefully, hopefully it works. Um, just have to print it and see if everything fits in there. Nice. Lots of, 
lots of fiddling with all these little dimensions and stuff. But if yeah. I did everything right, the cool thing about Inventor and, and Fusion 360 is that, so for example, this here is called USB underscore K. So if this needs to be adjusted by two millimeters, I can just change that variable and it will then change that drawing, any drawings in the, in the design that reference that variable. So that way, if I need to adjust something, I can very easily adjust it based on how the print comes out instead of having to redo the whole thing because something was off by two millimeters. Anyways, uh, I don't know if that's better or worse than y'all's Valheim house. I feel like let's call it the same. I it's like about the same. Like you, guys put, yeah. you guys put a lot of stuff in. I need more leather scraps. Well, folks, that's going to do it for us. Uh, I'm probably going to keep playing, but we're at least going to end the stream. Yeah. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you want to check out our content, subpixelfilms.com will bring you straight to our YouTube channel. We can check out all of our hot archives and our brand new shorts that are taking the YouTube algorithm by storm. Uh, thank you for joining me, Ian Gibson, and designing your lovely little thing here. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, thank you for joining me, Zach. Uh, we will be back tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern, uh, from the studio. Uh, not 100% sure what mm -hmm. we're doing yet, but should be fun. So tune in for that and then of course on tuesday we'll have another stream probably something good until then have a lovely lovely day bye bye, bye.